Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. It's me. I hope you can hear me now. Let this work. So fresh and sassy. Nice to see you. Nice. Can you hear me? Is the is the mic working this time? Hello. Can you hear me? We're having a little technical difficulties last time. Can you hear what I'm saying? Okay, good, good. Yeah, a few seconds, a few minutes ago, it wasn't working out too good. Well, it's good to see you. Good to have you. Good to see you. Good to have you. I see three people. I'm only seeing one comment. Where's everybody at? Uh, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Everybody made it back okay. I know we had a bumpy ride a few a few seconds ago, but we're back in action. <laughs> Everything looks clear now. My webcam's up, All right? Like a real YouTuber right now. <laughs> All right, we'll wait a couple couple more seconds. Wait for a few more people to come in, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right? How's that sound? Sound good? Sound good? All right. Today's topic. Right is five things that servers do that just make my blood boil. I know, right? I got a new webcam. It's, it's a 1080p camera. What up, Aishon? What's going on? What's going on? Yep. And I, I'm fresh off of work, so I'm heated. <laughs> All right. This happens every day. It just ugh, every every time I go to work, I'm like, you know what? Maybe today, maybe today is gonna be okay. Maybe I can come in. Maybe everybody's going to do what they need to do. But no, they come in, they spit in my face. <laughs> they say, Tuh! to you and your rules. And it just makes me upset. Oh, by the way, I, I launched uh, some merch. Uh, so you can check that out in the description box or the about section of uh, the channel. So, you know, pick, pick up something if you want. You know, if you don't, my lights may go off. <laughs> they may not. But all proceeds will go towards uh, new videos. All right, so check the link in the about section. Uh, get yourself a mug. You know, get, get some nice for family. Okay, Christmas is around the corner. Pick them up. Some now. I spit a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, we're gonna get into it. All right, so number one on the list of five things. That servers do to get on chef's nerves is not knowing how to tie a tie, all right, or use an iron. What's going on, Auntie? Good to see you. <laughs> yep, I'm back. I hope you like the new setup. Hope you like the new setup. But servers who do not know how to come correct to work, right? If you don't know how to tie, look it up. This is 2018. You got YouTube. You got Google. Yeah, who has a search engine? I don't know who's going on that, but you can use it and find out how to tie a tie. See, my favorite is a double Windsor knot. Or I could tie that off the dome. But if you come in, I don't know if y'all have seen the uh, Takashi 69 photo of the way he had his tie tie. <laughs> but he has it twisted up in knots in five different places. I'm like, come on. There's all there's all sorts of places to go to. And ironing, that's that's a basic necessity for anybody. You tell me you didn't grow up. Hi, Sean. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for helping me keep the lights on. This is going towards the uh, sauce fund. It's going right in the pot. OK. <laughs> but if you don't know how to iron your clothes, just ask somebody. Right. I can bring an iron to work if you need it. You just don't come in all disheveled. Right. Shave before you come in. You don't want to look all scruffy with, with your hair all out of place. Getting it in the food. It's nasty. All right. You look dirty and you bring down the value of the restaurant. All right. Number two, all right, and this this goes for any job, right? But if you're gonna work somewhere, know what you are doing, okay? I'm not saying like the first week. The first week's fine, right? You come in, you're like, oh, I don't know the menu too well. Let me study it for the first week so I know what's going on, right? But if you are there, if you've been the if you've been the server for the longest, right? You're training people. You should know what's on the menu. 
right? You should know the difference between salmon and tuna if you work at a sushi bar, right? Who here knows the difference between salmon and tuna? What are the color? What's the color of salmon? Anybody? Hmm. Hmm. Quiet. <laughs> hmm. What's the What's the color of tuna? I'll let you know. Salmon's orange and tuna's red. And if you don't know that, and you worked at a place for five months, let alone two days, you should know that. What's, what's, the, what's what kind of uh, what kind of tuna you get? Yeah, yeah, tuna's red. Mm -hmm. You may be thinking the yellow tail. It's different different types, right? But the point is, right? Process of elimination says that tuna is either red or white. If you don't know, if you didn't know that tuna was red, you would automatically know that it's not orange. Am I right? Yes or no? Hmm? Everybody's seen a salmon before. Everybody's seen a nature documentary of them swimming upstream, getting caught by bears. You've seen it. You texting me right now? Man. I'll join later. It's <laughs> my brother. But yeah, you should know the difference, right? You should know the difference between crab and lobster. All right, what's the difference between crab and what's the difference between lobster? The legs <laughs> and the tail, right? You eat lobster tail, you eat crab claws. You can eat a lobster claw, but there's only two. Well, there's two for both. Good. I'm in the middle of production. What's going on? And now my phone doesn't want to work. The touch screen. The touch screen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But yet, know the menu. Okay? You should know that we're not going to substitute salad for chicken. All right? Let me get a chicken Caesar salad. But we're going to substitute the lettuce for chicken. So you don't want a salad. You want chi you want a chicken dinner. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to give me some time. Come on. Hey, Siri. Put put my phone on airplane mode, okay? Yes. Put, put the phone on airplane mode, Siri. I tell you. Anyways. Oh my goodness, Siri, you're killing me. <sighs> All right. So <laughs> number three, and what personally gets on my nerves because it affects me the most, is taking the food to the wrong table. All right. And I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but you take the food to the wrong table, and if and somebody eats it, then what? All the tickets are messed up from there on out. So I make a beef fried rice. You sound a chicken. That is a big deal. It's a really big deal. So you give somebody a chicken fried rice, and they allergic to chicken, and they take a bite. They're still in the restaurant. Am I right? Am I wrong? You know what I'm saying? But here's, here's how the ticketing system works. So you get a ticket. You put it at this little clip at the top, and it holds the tickets, right? We have the same thing, but on the grill side. So there's an expo side, there's a grill side. We have those same tickets, right? I'm making each each all the way down the line, okay? Go from start to finish, right? So when I make the start, I expect the start to go out before the finish, right? So if a server comes, they order they order a fried rice, right? They don't look at the ticket time. Another another fried rice has been there for 15 minutes. They say, oh, I put my beef fried rice in and it's ready already? Let me go ahead and take that out. Now that person is going to be waiting another seven, eight minutes for their food to come out and they're upset. They're like, why is my food taking so long? I'm like, I sent it. I sent it out already. That, that was going 20 minutes ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Jeff took your food to the wrong table. What's going on, Jeff? Oh, I'm sorry. Jeff took... To, took your food to the wrong table. Can you rush the order? I'm 30 tickets deep. And now I got to backtrack and get that food out? Oh, no. I'll be like, send Jeffrey in real quick. Can I, can I speak with Jeffrey? And that's when you got to have a conversation. I'm like, come on, man. All right, at least buy me dinner first before you, you know, <laughs> before you have your way with me. <laughs> Because you're messing me up, okay? I'm busy. I'm ripping and running. And then the servers don't even ask me if I want to drink. I'm sweating buckets, right? Because it's hot on the walk when you're making edamame, you're making all kinds of stuff. They don't even say, hey, Robert, you want some water? They walking back and forth, 
Round 30 tickets deep. They looking around the corner like, hmm? Hmm? I can say, you know, nice grooves, I mean, I mean, I <laughs> and after finishing, I know it's <laughs> with the chicken. <laughs> You see, and that that's okay if you don't like it, but if you got an allergic reaction to something, then you can get real sick and, you know, probably sue the restaurant. That's all really, anybody really cares about anyways, is the people who who uh, who uh sue. That's from a business point. I don't know. For me personally, I don't want to hurt nobody, but uh, all the bosses are like, come on, you know they're going to sue us. You know that. All right? Number four. All right, we're four deep. Let me just backtrack real quick for some of the people who are coming back in. All right. So number one, the servers who don't know how to come in uniform, you know, polished shoes. They don't shower. You know, some people be stinking. I'm like, yeah, get some deodorant sticks under your arms. Right. The people who don't know how to iron their clothes look like they slept in them. And the people who can't tie ties. If you don't know how to tie a tie in 2018, then you're wrong. Didn't get wrong. There's too many places out there to go get this information from. You got Google, you got YouTube, right? You on it right now. On it every day, but you can't still tie a tie. All right. Okay. Number two, the servers who haven't learned the menu after being there for after after training, after being there for months, still don't know the difference between food. All right. The ones who don't know the difference between salmon and tuna, right? One's red, one's orange. No one asked me about it. Okay. And number three. People take the food to the wrong table. You're messing me up. I got to backtrack because of your mistake. And then you're just going to say, oh, I'm sorry, Robert. That's my bad. Oh, that's your bad? <laughs> you got to see me. <laughs> and number four, the waiter gang. All right, those people who stand in the corner, right? This is mostly on slow days, okay? But the servers or their uh, customers still need attention, Right. They get they huddle together and they talk about the evening news, what's going on on social media, the Cardi B, Nicki Minaj beef, and all the while the customers are like, hey, can I? You know the customers don't want to be rude either. So hey, can I get a can I get a uh, excuse me? Excuse me. They're like, oh, never mind. And then leave a bad review, horrible service, horrible. You couldn't even get a refill on water. All because people want to talk in a group. All right, that's called a waiter. Gang, and last but not least, we have the hound dog, we have the checker, we have the scout, the person who rings in an eight ounce ribeye and, ex and brings it in well done and checks on it after a minute to see if it's done. You know, the people who eight ounce ribeye, well done. Hey, y'all got that? Uh, y'all got that ribeye yet? No. Okay. 30 seconds later. Hey, uh, the customer's looking for that well done uh, ribeye. Y'all got it? I'm looking at my watch like it's been two minutes. Two minutes? Well done. You don't want it well done then. You want it black and blue, right? And then it's, oh, uh, customers, they've been waiting 20 minutes on their steak. I'm like, look at this. I got the ticket right here. It says it came in two minutes ago. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm just checking. And then they then they give you the side eye. They stand in the corner looking like this. I'm like, can I can I can I get you something? Oh no, I'm just checking, just checking. Well, check your customers. Okay. <laughs> get off my back. Or I'm sweating back here. It's like I'm at the gym lifting weights. I'm getting mad cardio. Y'all see I'm getting slim, right? That's not because I'm working out. It's because I'm working hard. <laughs> These people pushing my buttons, right? I'm like, and then I gotta ask the people. I'm like, how long does it take to make this? Oh, I think one, maybe like 12, 15 minutes. Well, if it takes that long to make, why are you checking on it in one minute? Oh, well, I guess that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And give me some water because I'm thirsty. <laughs> but. That's all I got for today, y'all. I know it's quick. I know it's quick. I got to get out before the trolls start rolling through. You know, but new merch has been launched. Right? Check the about section. Check the description uh, in the 
in the YouTube browser area. I'll probably tag it on this video too. Go check it out. Anything help support your boy is going to go into the Sauce Pod funds. So I can start making more videos, pumping them out. You know what I'm saying? But if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, these live streams I only keep up for 24 hours and I'm going to unlist them. All right? So bring them in while you can. All right, Sauce loves you. And remember, everything's better with Sauce. Take it easy.